Zach Bagans. Dude, you let the Discovery Channel put your name on this? Dude, are you just not paying attention or do you genuinely don't care? I'm kinda curious. Well, howdy do to YouTube. How's everybody out there in YouTube land doing? If you don't know who I am, my name is Bayou. I'm the owner, founder, and lead investigator of BA Paranormal and Research. I've been a paranormal investigator for a very long time, since before it was cool to be one. And I'm, well, I'm thoroughly sick of fake. And um, it's everywhere. It's driving me nuts. It'll never end. But anyway, I'm here to point it out to you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that um, you can find out whether or not your favorite ghost hunter is completely full of crap or not anywho um i wasn't gonna do another ghost adventures video i like to kind of stick and move you know like stick and move like hit them and go but um this had to pop up in my feed and hold on, let me get the name of the video name zach bagan's most terrifying paranormal encounters so i watched about one minute of it and sent it directly to Marcus. Oh, you want to put it in my feed? I will. I I will look at it. I will tell you that right now, Zach. It's just ridiculous. Oh, all right. Let, let's let's go ahead and get get into this because either this is going to be a lot of fun or it's going to be very painful. Probably a little bit of both. How come the EMF meter went off when he went? Like it went higher when he moved his hands. What was in your hand, Zach? And how is this terrifying, a terrifying encounter? I guess you're setting the pace for this, this crap, obviously. Oh, but I mean, that's a nice EMF meter. I mean, that's one of the newfangled ones to find uh, in the air, basically. And I mean, EMF, if it's high, it's going to make you feel funny. But it's fleeting. It's not evidence. If you stand there for a few seconds, that'll go away. Because it's what happens on the planet. And if there's any electricity in the building, it's null and void. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, but what was in your hands, Zach? Why'd, why'd the meter go off when your hand like went higher when your hands moved? Like, come on, dude. What's that about? Just trying to say. Next clip. Okay. The first noise was probably Rocco moving back or one of your... 50 fucking crew members and one of them must be hungry because that sounds like one of their stomach growls you got a boom mic pointing up the stairs it sounds like it's coming from behind the boom mic one of your crew is hungry man get them a granola bar but that's not anything paranormal or terrifying any yeah yeah oh next clip <laughs> No, no, that's not what's happening. What's happening is the editor left in the real Zach. That's how that dude like really acts. Like <laughs> the editor left it in. I'm sure Zach's really mad about that one. Messed up his image. Or no, he was just angry. The ghost made him angry. No, that's just you all the time. That's how you are. All that money and shit, you know what I'm saying? Next clip. Felt, we could document your energy. Can you do something else for us? Do you want to show yourself? Whoa. What? Just got hit with a gust of wind on the, my neck right here. From this direction. That was a breeze that just hit me. You feel that, Billy? Yeah, yeah. What is that? What is oh, oh, there was just something on the uh, stairs, dude. There was? Yeah. I just looked away. Yeah. What is that? What is oh, oh, there was just something on the uh, stairs, dude. There was? Yeah. Remember, this anomaly appears on the staircase at the same time that Billy and I feel an unexplained breeze pass through. You feel that, Billy? Yeah, yeah. What is that? And moments after unexplained EMF activity that took my breath and drained our energy. Could you not show the ceiling where there was a vent that was blowing on you? Because I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Um, 
Second, you have a nice fancy SLS because the dude who invented it made them for you. Um, but the rules still apply. If you're moving around, you get falls. And you notice how it's kind of moving around and it just went bloop and it went away because it caught some pattern of shadows. That's not, that's not anything at all. A vent and a shadow. Like not even a ghost shadow. Like it's just random patterns of shadows that make, because look at it, it, went, it didn't like make a shape. SLS's suck. Next clip. I'm gonna take a picture of the Take stereo. the recorder. Once we analyze the evidence Aaron captures on this Polaroid camera, this Polaroid evidence is unlike anything I've seen before. The three separate glowing anomalies look like a space enclosed in a beam of light. Almost like a cocoon, a doorway, or a portal. Here's the Polaroid photo that Aaron took. Notice where these three very strange shape, repetitious looking anomalies are. This SLS anomaly is in the same exact spot as where we captured these unknown anomalies on the Polaroid photo. Look, look I wanna I wanna point something out because like they showed it. You notice how those marks all look the same and they're the same width apart on each other? It's from the camera when you remove the thing wrong, the film wrong from a Polaroid. It No, but that's a ghost in a fucking portal. Wow. I'm I want to be like speechless, but like this is just what this nut, these numb nuts do. And oh, it's God, it's ridiculous. Next clip. Before his suicide inside this building, John Coble was known as a happy man with a wife and five small children. Merrill Wolford testified that he was in a state of altered consciousness when he shot Roger Broyles inside this building. Corey, what have some of the other guards experienced up here? One security guard that they particularly didn't like, they would growl at him, they would throw things at him, and very often he would go home with scratches on him. Really? A, a security guard? Yeah. They threw brooms at him, um, batteries. Like, he showed me one day because he said that his back was really burning and he lifted up his shirt and they was, there was just rake marks all down his back. Okay, look. No offense. No offense at all. But why am I supposed to believe fresh and fruity tootie there? Okay? Like, for real. Like, you are just saying these things. Where are the pictures? Because I'm telling you right now, today's day and age, um, if someone got scratched or beat up or whatever from a ghost or had marks, they would take pictures. Everybody takes pictures of everything nowadays. Not only that, but eyewitness testimony is like bullshit and this isn't even eyewitness testimony this is third party and we're supposed to believe you this is supposed to be a like a terrifying encounter zach baggins i'm i really want to know because all it is is this dude telling you a bunch of shit oh wow I'm, I knew I like I didn't pay attention to Ghost Adventures in a long time. I knew they were bad, but I didn't know it was this bad. Next clip. No, don't add your narrative to it, Zach. Um, they replayed it a bunch of times, so I'm not going to have Marcus do it. But didn't it? It may just be me. I'm going to just say it may just be me. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Didn't the spirit box come on before he touched it and turned it on? Is that just my imagination? Because he had whatever that was. I don't know what the fuck that really was. And he went to go touch it and it started before that. But I mean, like whatever that device said, um, it did say that. But I believe that's 100% bullshit. Next clip. That said, those workers packing. That's exactly what it said. It didn't say nothing about murder. It said those workers packing. That was interference. They said it sounded like murder. It didn't say murder. It said those workers packing. 
like very clearly. Just saying, just saying they got to they got to put their narrative into it. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it's, it's the last clip. Thank whatever the is out there. Okay, so dust. That was dust. Um, did anybody else notice that they were moving the remote camera, and then a two by four fell? You don't think maybe that fucking remote camera knocked it over? Because if you watch it again, it kind of kind of what it looks like to me. I'm just trying to say. Then they freak out like Omar Gosh TV does. This was actually, that's what this reminded me of. All of these clips reminded me of Omar Gosh TV. Because, like, I thought these guys were better at that than this. This video should not be called Zach Bangin's Most Terrifying Encounters or Paranormal Encounters. This should be Zach Bagan's Most Lamest Encounters Ever. Ever. The most lamest paranormal encounters ever. Let's see here. We have a bunch of dust, a bunch of wind, a bunch of bull. And then Russian Fruity there gave us his witness statement from somebody else. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, mm, I don't even know what to say. Like this, thought this was going to be fun like the last one, but this is just, this is so bad. Not like I understand it's YouTube and you got to clickbait, but at least like be partial. Look, Discovery Channel. Do you know how many views Zach Bagan's most lamest encounters would get? It probably gets some views. I'm just gonna throw that out there to you because that's what this video should be really called. And Zach, what are you just not paying attention? Or do you just don't care that your name is being put on this kind of crap? I'm really curious. Oh, hopefully this won't be I won't do any more ghost adventures videos that they don't put them in my feed anymore. Just trying to say. Anywho, uh I guess I'm gonna get out of here and take care of this headache from why well, see this is why I stopped watching ghost adventures because man, it's horrible. It's just horrible. It's like a they find all the bullshit they can and then twist a narrative to it to make it like whatever. It's it's a TV show. It's fate. Like, it's just what it is. Anywho, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps us out a lot. It helps me be able to show more people the truth because I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's absolutely ridiculous how much fake paranormal out there. Our kids believe that demons are real and they're everywhere. They're not. Um, people believe that there's all kind of crazy creatures hanging out in abandoned buildings because these numb nuts say there is. None of these things exist. Just saying. And people need to know, and that's why I'm here, so subscribe. All right. See you on the flip side. Bye! Are you coming? Are you I'm sick of being normal. I'm sick of being average. I'm sick of being mortal. I'm about to be a savage. I see a lot of things that I want. I will have them. I got a new man.